Hello, and welcome back to Hi. Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3. My name is Kendra, and I am up here with my buddies Terry and Matt, and we are just about to check out ARMS. But first, Terry is going to introduce some special guests we have up here today. <laughs> you got it, yeah. yeah. So we have Yabuki-san, and yes. we have Ishikawa-san, and we have Rob for translations. We have some special guests here to help talk about ARMS today and go mm. dive deeper into the game of ARMS. As you may notice that there are some uh, wiring on these Joy-Con. Uh, this is just for development uh, production, but um, let's get right into it. So, you know, we, we have Yabuki-san here, we have Ishikawa-san here. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the game. Let's talk about the <laughs> world of ARMS. So, as well, as well, Ishikawa-san and Yabuki-san are here, so we can talk about the world of ARMS and the concept of the concept. So, as well, <laughs> well, you know, I really just came here to fight, so I think I'd like to talk about it while fighting. <laughs> nice. All right, so I guess I should probably hand the controllers off to Yabuki-san. Yes. So oh, 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 oh. This uh, might not work really well. well, well How about each can't say it. He can't, can't fight in the gloves. <laughs> so Ishikawa-san will have to hold them for a bit. There you go. All right. All right, nice. All right now we're going to get into it. So let's get let's get this started. So can we hear a little bit of the world of arms, a little bit of the background of the game? So as a Ishikawa-san, we can answer it. Well, arms is the world of the game. What kind of world is it? Generally. Yes. Ah, well, it's a little bit of the world of the world, but it's a little bit of the world. So it's kind of uh, the near future as compared to the world we're living in. And it's a world where obviously there are people who have this kind of stretchy arms ability. <laughs> Here we go. That we can really ready for this battle yet. Yeah, so, so we're looking at all these different characters. We got Kid Cobra and we also have uh, uh, Bite Mark. Uh, yeah. Ishikawa, let, let's talk about uh, Kid Cobra for a second. So uh, Kid Cobra, he's kind of he's kind of a, a snake man. His arms are snakes, and he himself is sort of a snake as well. Mm. And you know, his entire face is covered by uh, that helmet he's wearing, so he's, he's, he's kind of a mysterious guy. Very mysterious. Yeah, mysterious so, indeed. And um, I noticed too that he has two different colored eyes, and I'm curious about the design decision behind that. <laughs> so that's, maybe I won't go into it now, but that's just another kind of mysterious thing about Snake Man. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so, so fan, the fans will have to wait. I'm still in shock. So, as we're moving around too, let's talk about uh, Bite and Bark and his right. special unique ability. え、そうですね。まあ、ちょっとバイト、アンドバークについて話しましょう。はい。あの、バイトアンドバークは、あの、他のキャラクターがアームズ能力を持っている人間に対して、ロボットで参戦してきた。ちょっと珍しいコンビ
って戦うステージになってます。うん、so this is a, a stage where you, you get on these、uh, kind of mysterious、uh, looking objects called、uh, snake boards and, and fight while you're riding on those. でキットコブラは、えー、ストリートのちょっとこうストリートファッションに進んで、えー、ボードに乗って。ミチはこ,うこのアームズファイトをしているなので世界観もちょっと、えー、ストリートっぽいそういうふうなエリアになってます、うん、So this is kind of like kind of a street style area of this game obviously like you know、uh, Kate Cobra he's kind, of a, he's kind of a street style guy kind of like the version of a skater for this world so that represents that element of this place Oh that's awesome Street、yeah. Cobra street Very cobra. much looks like an,、yes. like an urban rooftop <laughs> skate park with Super cool skateboard. Right on our freeway as well. I know. I hope somebody makes those skateboards someday. So, this is the staff. I'm really excited about this. Everyone on staff is really into this level. I definitely noticed the level itself, too. It's, it's very unique compared to the other levels. You actually are right on these tops, and you know, it makes the game a little bit quicker. It makes it harder to dodge,、um, or yeah, yeah, easier to dodge.、Uh, and there's just so much that you can do that's different、mm. when compared to other levels. このままに乗ることもありますし、なんかこのゲームの中でも結構ユニークなステージですね。はい、あの遊びがちょっと他のステージとは変わってるので、うん、ちょっと他のステージとはまた刺激的な部分があると思います。Yeah, I think it's pretty impactful just because even the gameplay is kind of different on this stage compared to the others.、Yeah. Let's, uh, let's look at the arms that they,、uh, they're using right now. So it looks like, oh, round one goes to.、Yeah. Matt's got a tall order here. He's playing against the developers and they obviously know what they're doing. You're holding your own, Matt. I'm great. So let's go into Bite and Bark's uh, uh, arms here. Just Bite and Bark's arms. Arm is a l i t t l e bit of a problem. はいえー、右手につけているのは相手を追尾する、追っかける。So, on that right there, he's got a, a homing type arm that can actually track your opponent's movements and home in on them. <laughs> and so, on the left there, he's got what kind of looks like a party favor. It's called the cracker, but it also has this fire attribute, so it might look like a party thing, but it's, it's pretty dangerous. I noticed that、um, Kid Kuroba's got his special、oh. just waiting in the wings. Kid Kuroba's got his special just waiting in the wings. Oh, is it time for Yabuki to bring the pain? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I got all that. <laughs> <laughs> Matt felt the heat. <laughs> So let's,、uh, let's talk about、uh, Kid Kilbra's arms while we're at it. Ah, so is that. Oh, Kid, what's up? Oh, what's up? What's up? Oh, 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 what's up? Yep, so yep. that was it. Mr. Yeah, Boogie winning twice in a row. <laughs> Good job, <laughs> sir. You did. <laughs> All right, we're、yes. going to change players. I think Mr. Ishikawa is going to play a bit. And we're going to change characters. So we got some characters going on here.、Uh, we got Helix. Twin Tail and、yeah. Helix. Helix is so amazing. Right. Helix is amazing. All right. And the gloves have passed into、Yabuki. new hands <laughs> once again. Mr. Yabuki has the gloves back on. Musical gloves. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into the, the, the technical side of Twin Tail and Helix's fighting style. So, let's get into the technical side of Twin Tail and Helix's fighting style. So, let's get into the technical side of Twin Tail and Helix's fighting style. So, let's get into the technical side of Twin Tail and Helix's fighting style. So, let's get into the technical side of Twin Tail and Helix's fighting style. So, let's get into the technical side of Twin Tail and Helix's fighting style. So, let's get into the technical side of Twin Tail and Helix's fighting style. That's like a really good like, offensive defensive move because you, you're able to counter your opponent by having them attack you, but dodging it, slowing their punch down, and then you counter right away. Yeah, she's really good for you know, you slow down an enemy attack and then bring that counter right in. 
I think we also noticed too that Twin Tail is the only character that's not using her arms. She's mm -hmm. actually using her hair mm. as her weapon. Twin Tail is the only one who's not using her arms. She's using her hair as her weapon. Twin Tail is the only one who's not using her arms. She's using so, you know, it's just the fact that the arms ability doesn't always show up in your arms. Sometimes it shows up in your hair. Uh, <laughs> good point. Good I wish point. my hair could do that. <laughs> good game. With, with Helix's win, I think we, we should move on and talk about Helix and about uh, his, his yeah, definitely. Helix is cut to so Helix is really unique just because of the fact that this kind of body like stretch as you can see there, it stretches and expands up and down. And he's probably the hardest character to use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he seems like he has some very unique uh, skill sets, but it also seems very rewarding if you figure out how to utilize those at the right times. Oh yeah. まあ、確かにやつかうのが難しいだろうけど、なんかマスターしたらすごい価値があるキャラですね。そうですね。あのヒリックスを使いこなせたらもう尊敬を集めると思いますね。で、if <笑><笑> Good job, Matt. Oh, nice. This makes perfect, right? Yeah. This is it. All right. All right, so Final round. <laughs> Final round. This is it. Final round. Uh-oh. He seeks revenge now. Oh, no, he's got two. <laughs> <laughs> so let's look at, look, look at the techniques of the arms here that we're looking or uh, seeing here. Um, so Twintail is using her uh, Purcell and also her Chilla. あ、ちょっとそのトゥインテールが今使ってるアンズについて話しましょうか。トゥインテールは今左手にあの氷のパンツですね。右手にパラソルつけてます。So yeah, she's got that that uh that freezing punch on the left and then the parasol on the right there. あ、凍らせて傘で突き刺すっていうまあ非常に怖い組み合わせですね。It's a pretty scary combination, you know, she can freeze you with that left and then stab you with the right. Oh yeah. Earlier, we had the uh, yellow sphere that they were standing in front of, and that helps to fill up their um, special gauge. Uh, so it's obviously smart to get in there when you can. Oh, that was <laughs> cool. There it is. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Oh, ouch. Nice. Oh, yeah, Ibuki won, but Ishikawa won. As we see, Mr. Ibuki won, and Mr. Ishikawa lost. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 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 well, Switching fighters. So we're going right, to do uh, the, the, the glove, glove swap again. So at this point, we had shown <laughs> two of the, the four of the newer characters at Twintel, by Bark, uh, Kid Cobra, Helix. So there are characters that we've, we've shown before, but now we're going to show them live here today and have them do it as well. So we've got Springman and Min Min. Springman and Min Min. We've seen them See, how about some ramen bowl? Ramen, ramen bowl. That sounds tasty. Yeah, okay. okay. Let's do it. I am pretty hungry. <laughs> so, what is the story behind Springman? Yeah, Springman's story is what? What is it? Yes. Ah, the Springman is a character of arms. The arms are the arms of the arms. The arms are the arms of the arms. So he's kind of he's kind of the embodiment of arms, you know. He's he's the representative. He's kind of the mascot character, and his his arms are made of springs. And he's, no, he's a really passionate fighter, he's kind of a gym rat, and he also hates to lose, which kind of connects to a, one of the abilities he has, which is when um, his gauge gets below, his life gauge gets below a quarter, um, mm -hmm. he gets perma-charged, his arms are just permanently charged. Right. Yep. Yeah, that, that's, that's a great addition for our spring man, especially when you get down to a little bit of your health, you, you get a little pickup, and Definitely. then everything is charged, you do more damage than you could before. That's a great ability. It also okay. feels personally you relatable, you know? You feel backed into a corner and then you just get like, ah! 
And just a minute ago, we had the green ring, and that refills the health. So, a lot going on on screen. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt getting annihilated once again. By wow. Yabuki san this time. It's so tough. <laughs> <laughs> so let, let, let's look at that uh, Min Min story. And what, what, what's her background story? Min Min is the stage So she's, uh, she's kind of the, uh, the, uh, the prize daughter of. Uh, a ramen shop that's actually located here at this this ramen bowl where you're fighting. And you know, as you can probably guess and see, her arms are made of this kind of stretchy ramen. Mm. And then you can see, you know, on top of her hair, she's got these these kind of like ramen noodle-like strands of hair and then uh, this knit this knit beanie that looks like an upturned ramen bowl as well. Love it. And I, I one of my favorite weapons in the game right now it's definitely the dragon, which is one of Min Min's main uh, arms. Uh, it definitely has really good range. It has that nice little blast, the delay blast that keeps the opponent moving. Mm. ハニーで、なんか攻撃できる。シュイスウィッチロール。いや、シュア。または細かく習いますので、気に入ってます。そうですね。あの、左腕がですね、チャージするとドラゴン型の腕になるので、より一層強くなると思いますね。チャージ
あちょっとレバンガール今使ってるアームについてお願いしましょうはい、うん左手今スパーキーですね。雷のパンチ。あ、そう、あの、left she's got、uh, the sparky which is a, a lightning punch。で、右手は。この、ムチのようにしなる。and then on the right she's got the、uh, kind of whip like、uh, slap a m a n d e r yeah the slap a m a n d e r I love how it just like it swings around the、mm. opponent、mm-hmm. so you don't see it coming until it comes to the left or right. until it's right it's not, in your face. yeah it's not a direct shot. ボーキングカーブするから。読めないです。神と戦っているよ。It's the wrath of Yabuki san and Ishikawa san。So moving on to the next fighters. Let's see who we got up next. It is. 次は。次は大丈夫。It's, it's the, the heavy arms, right? We got Master Mummy and then also Mechanica. Okay. Ah, Master Mummy. Ah, okay. We're going to switch again. We're going to again. Ishikawa san's going to. What they're doing is they're wearing you down, Matt. That,、yeah. That's what they're trying to do.、Oh, I'm already pretty tired. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm going to fight hard to the end. Matt got tired. Yeah, so one of, one of my favorite characters is definitely、uh, Mechanica. Mechanica yeah. She can definitely take punches, but also all of her, her movesets are actually very, very aggressive and, and it's all on the offense.、Um, we'll, we'll see it when we get into this match here. It is hard、uh, to choose a favorite because they're all so、oh, unique.、Yeah. I think the most important thing is that everyone is very unique. So, this is the most important thing. So, this is the most important thing. 10体のキャラクターたちなんですけどなるべくその違いが出るように意識して作りました。そうですね、あの、ジョーカーはもう、ジョーカーの顔が、ジョーカーの顔が、ジョーカーの顔が、ジョーカーの顔が、ジョーカーの顔が、ジョーカーの And I think you know, if people playing it, if they try out all of the different characters, they'll understand more and more how deep the gameplay is.、Oh, yeah. And so let, let's, let's look at、uh, Mechanica's play style, her fighting technique. So her arms and her style of. She floats, she's pretty floaty. So, for Mechanica, because you know, as you said, she has that hover ability,、uh, you should just use that a lot. Stay hovering and try and attack from the air as much as possible. Oh, oh my gosh, wow. That was close. That was a really close match. <laughs> You're out of there. So, now, because of the victory of Master Mummy, let's transition to Master Mummy. Let's, tell, let's,、uh, let's find out a little bit more about Master Mummy. So, Master Mummy is how you can show it. Master Mummy is powerful, and it's not a mind, it's a mind. So, Master Mummy is a character that you just want to keep moving forward and just punch and punch and punch and punch, just keep coming with the punches. And Master Mummy does have a unique ability where when he's guarding, it actually refills its HP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it almost looks like little souls are being sucked into him and then providing him with life. The victory for Master Mummy. Yeah, 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 you got me back. So we, saw... back hard.、Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we saw a lot of the fighting.、Uh, let's, let's show a couple of the different modes that we have in, in the game as well. Yeah? So, for the first mode we're going to show off will be the basketball, the hoop, is what we call it. And let's,、uh, let's go into the, the, the details or the little specs about、uh, this feature, the ba- hoops. えっと、バスケはこう投げの練習になるような、えー、ゲームを作ろうと思って、えー、用意しました。Uh, so this basketball、uh, hoops, you know, we kind of created it as a way to,、uh, you know, have something that people could practice throwing. まあただのプラクティスではなくて、敵をリングに放り込むというまあ非常にクレイジーなゲームです。But rather than make it, you know, just simply practice, we made it this kind of crazy game where you probably pick up your opponent and throw them through a basketball hoop. I love it. So you're taking your opponent and you're going to dunk them in the basketball hoop. So is it? Just like that. Obviously, don't do this in real life. I don't know. 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 I don
So I do notice that in this game, there are two points and there's three points. So if you're inside the arch, it's mm. only two points. And then also when you're outside the arch, it's three points. Mm. Mm -hmm. Three point line. Mm. <laughs> yep, it looks right at uh, where your feet are actually to determine whether it's a, a two or a three pointer, where your feet were at the last moment. And I really like this mode a lot. It's just the fact that you're playing arms, it's the same kind of style of you're fighting against an opponent, but the, the trick is really you're grabbing them and you're trying to counter them and throw them into the hoop to score and get the best for the, the well, first of 10 points. Yeah, so definitely a good stage to practice grabbing and throwing and kind of perfecting that technique. As you notice right here too, once you finish and you land a rush attack, oh. you will bounce your opponent off of the turnbuckle into oh. the basketball hoop. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh, nice. This is a close game. There it is. Yep. Got dunked. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ishikawa for the, the win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even at her own sport. American yeah. <laughs> sports. <laughs> Yeah, so let's let's go on to the next mode. So we're gonna do uh, volleyball this time mm -hmm. and show off volleyball. the difference of this one. So basketball is a lot about grabbing and you know counting your opponent, but then in volleyball it's really about setting up your hit and setting up that for the spike. Um, so you can you can use one hand to hit the ball, but if you use both your hands and you hit the ball at the same time, it'll actually set the ball up, and then the next hit you go for, you can spike it. And you, there's a lot mm -hmm. more jumping involved in this mode. Mm -hmm. I feel like if volleyball was like this in real life, I would actually play it too. Volleyball It's arms volleyball. Oh, oh nice volleyball. block. So as you can see here, it's really you're countering your opponent's ball by getting, keeping it on their side. Mm -hmm. After a certain amount of time, that, that volleyball will pop, oh, no, no. basically. <laughs> nope. Of course, this doesn't happen in real life, but you know this, this is part of the arm segment. <laughs> And so, you know, in, in the case of volleyball as well, this is a, a game that it kind of helps you practice having to do all that jumping and moving because that's, you know, how you'll be able to win the game. So we think, you know, if people play play this game a lot, you know, eventually that'll transfer into actually being better in the battle as well. No. And, that's, and that's what it, it does seem like. <laughs> as Matt lost the volleyball game and he was on for the oh. victory. Yeah, each of these modes really help uh, help stabilize your basic battling skills in the actual fights. Mm. Uh, you know, again, basketball was grabbing. Volleyball, you have the jump attacks mm -hmm. setting up for the next move. Uh, let's so we have one final mode to show you guys. It will be the skill shot mode. Sweet. Skill shot. Which character will you guys choose today? Oh, Ninjara. Oh, yeah. This is nice oh, color. A different yeah. color. <laughs> oh. Dig it. So, Yabuki-san, Ishikawa-san, who is your favorite fighter in arms? うん、一番気に入る。はい、あの、やっぱりスプリングマンですね。うん。あ、私はスプリングマン取られたから。西川さんのリツークスプリングマンそう。ミンミンから。今はミンミンが好きです。うん。レナーメンドメンド。そうです
span the the wide range of the different things that you can do so that you can practice, which is awesome. All right, well, good game. Nice job, Matt. Yeah, I think well you got game. one. It's, it's yeah, yeah, I did get one. <laughs> this, this, will, this will make you Out of stronger. How many, how many matches? I, I don't want to count. Okay, we won't count. Matches. You've been a, you've been a really great sport. Though. Oh no, no, it's been a lot of fun. I love playing with these guys. Cool, awesome. Well, thank you so much for playing and for being yeah, a part of this, nice. answering all of our many, many questions. Um, and that was it for arms. That's about all we have time for. Uh, thank you, Matt, for subjecting yourself to that, <laughs> playing against the developers. That was awesome. Um, so up next, we have Super Mario Odyssey. So stay tuned for that. And thank you for watching arms. Bye. Bye.